Welcome back guys, Zanif Tech here. Today I got my hands on this Magdodo 3-in-1 charging station. So this is a Qi 2 wireless charging station. So you get that full 15 watts of power on the iPhone charging base or any other device that supports Qi 2 wireless charging. Then you have an Apple Watch section on the back that you can charge your Apple Watch. And then a wireless charging pad on the bottom on the base of the entire thing supporting your AirPods with wireless charging or any other buds that support wireless charging. So you get those full 15 watts of power here on the phone charging station, and then you get your two and a half watts on the Apple Watch section, which I'll get to in a second. And then here you have five watts to charge up other earbuds. And the entire thing here has a USB-C cable that's supplied in the packaging that plugs into the back USB-C in port. And you can get another wall adapter that supports around 30 watts or higher since all of this together charges around 22.5 watts. So make sure you get that 30 watt or bigger because it's not included in the packaging, at least for the US market. They do sell this product internationally and those have different plugs available that come with the supplied block. But for the US market, you do not get the supplied block with this one. So getting back to how everything works when you place it on the charger. When you place everything on the charger one by one, you can get a little breathing light that shines white on the base of the charger and it shines bright every single time you place a device on it. So you don't know which one it usually is. So let's say if you place your phone, your Apple Watch and your AirPods at the same time, it breathes white knowing that something is charging, but you don't know exactly which one because there's three devices and one light on the bottom. But if you're only charging one device, let's say AirPods on the bottom, then when you place them, that light will be breathing and it'll turn solid when it's time to take them off because they're fully charged up. Same thing goes for the Qi 2 charger and then some same thing goes for the Apple Watch charger as well. When you place each one, you can see that white light breathing on the bottom and that's it. So that's how everything works. And the bottom section, you do have these nice rubber feet that allows you to place this on a tabletop or a nightstand. And you don't have any wiggle of the entire charging base on that desk or surface. The other thing I wanna mention is that the base is weighted. So you have this nice hefty material that this thing is made out of. It's probably like a polycarbonate material, plastic material, but it has some type of weight inside that keeps it planted on your desk. So when I take off my iPhone from the charger, it slightly moves, but nothing where it would lift the entire charger off the surface. So that's something I definitely want every single time I look at these chargers to make sure that it has enough weight on the base to not move the entire thing, because then what's the purpose? I mean, it's constantly moving and it's kind of annoying. But here, that's not the case where you have everything steady on the surface. The other cool accents I wanna talk about here are the fact that you have this nice orange pull tab on the back of the Apple Watch charger. And then you also have an orange USB-C port on the back. So those are cool little accents that they added to the entire design. And it looks so compact and modern anywhere you place this thing. I do wanna mention that the Apple Watch charger is not white and that immediately tells you that this is not a certified Apple Watch module for charging. It's the same space gray color as you find on the rest of the charger. So you won't get the fastest charging speeds possible here since this only gives 2.5 watts where you would most likely need five watts to get the full fast charging on any watch that supports it like the later series Apple Watches or the Ultras. But it still charges that device with no issues. The 15 watts is perfect for any Qi 2 device or the iPhone, so you get that full 15 watts of power. And then you also get the five watts on the bottom section to charge up those earbuds. But that's pretty much it. This is the McDodo three-in-one charging solution. There is one thing I also want to mention though, that inside the packaging, you get this nice magnetic ring that you can place on a case if you don't have a MagSafe enabled case or a Qi 2 case. And you can also place it on the back of a device if it doesn't have any magnets itself. So it's nice to include that in the packaging and a little guide with a ruler to let you know exactly where to place it on the device. That way you have the best performance out of that magnet with the charger. So it's nice that they include these extra things, but I really wish they included a US plug for the power adapter on this charging station. And if you liked the video, please give me a like, leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions about this charger, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Zanif Tech is out.